Claude code costs $100 a month. Cursor Pro is also too expensive. Not everyone can afford this. But Quen just gave us a solution. Quen recently launched a model that is as good as Claude 4 Sonnet. And using that model, they just made an announcement that makes AI coding affordable for everyone. And not only that, in this video, I'll also show you how you can use the new Quen model with the best coding agent out there. So if you're on the Claude code $20 plan or you can't even afford that, then this video is going to be for you. Now, before we get to the announcement, let me talk about Quen code because we're going to need it. So along with their model, Quen also launched their terminal coder. This is its GitHub repo right here and installing it is really, really easy. They've given multiple options for you. You can install from NPM or from the source. NPM is the easiest, so just copy the install command, head over to your terminal and paste it there. This will install Quen code on your system. Once you're done, you can check it using this command and you'll see that I already have it installed. After that, just like Claude code, code, you fire it up and you'll be greeted with this. But first, you'll need to sign in. And this is where the announcement comes in. So this is what they revealed on August 8th. They're giving 2,000 free Quen code runs every single day. And to me, that's a really, really generous offer. Here's how it works. When you're prompted with the sign-in screen, you simply choose the OAuth with Quen option. This will take you to your browser where you sign in, and then it automatically logs you back into the terminal. After that, you've got your free 2,000 runs per day. It's as simple as that. So before we dive into testing and me telling you whether this is actually worth it or not, let me give you a quick tour of Quen code in case this is the first time you're seeing it. The interface is pretty similar to Claude code. It's actually built on top of the Gemini CLI and uses that as the base version. They've said that they've improved some things, but again, that is the base version. For example, I wanted to add this MCP server and the process was exactly the same as adding MCP in the Gemini CLI. So they haven't really changed most of the stuff or the underlying agent. Now I'm not sure if they've modified how the Gemini CLI works because I remember when it came out, Gemini CLI wasn't very good. I tested it myself. It got stuck in loops and had various small errors, but still we'll see how this performs. Again, really simple options here. Nothing different from Claude code. You can see that they haven't even changed the context file these coding agents use. For example, Claude has Claude.md, Gemini has its own Gemini.md file, and they haven't even changed that. The rest of it is just like Claude code. In fact, Claude Claude code has more features, things like Claude code hooks, Claude code slash commands, and Claude code sub agents, which are amazing features only Claude provides right now. But we'll see how far Quen code comes. The main reason these 2000 runs per day are valuable is because of the model they're using, the Quen 3 coder. So the Quen 3 coder model, which just came out in July, is a really, really great model. I've been using it and testing it in my own workflows even before Quen made this announcement. And I must say, it's been pretty great to work with. Now, the thing is, this isn't going to be for everyone. For people who bought the Claude Code Max plan, they probably won't care because what would they do with a few thousand free runs of this model? But for people on the $20 Claude Code plan or those who don't have it at all, this is actually really great news. You're essentially getting one of the best models out there. If I go on LM Arena, you can see its performance is on par with Claude Sonnet 4. Like I said, I've tested it out and it's pretty great. So getting 2,000 free runs of this every single day for free in my book, that's a really, really great offer. So this is Daisy UI and they provide really nice designs. I really love the components they offer and the apps you can build with them. This is what I used to test both Claude and Quen code. First, I went ahead and connected the Context 7 MCP server. This MCP gives AI agents access to external documentation so they're not limited to their own info. I also have a video on this as well. Well. Now you can see that the Context 7 MCP is connected here and it's also connected in Quen code. After connecting it, I asked both of them to pull information about Daisy UI. You can see here that I asked Quen as well and it pulled the docs from the MCP server. After they had pulled this information, I gave them this prompt. Sorry for the misaligned text, I just copied and pasted it here and this is what happens when you copy and paste text into the terminal. Basically, I wanted to build a mobile app prototype with Daisy UI. It was supposed to be a music player app, like the local music player apps you see on the App Store. Since Daisy UI isn't really a native library that LLMs have been trained on, I told them to use the Context 7 MCP. Let me show you what both of them came up with. This is what Claude Code created, a really simple interface using Daisy UI. It's not bad at all. In fact, it's really good. Everything is functional, with a small animation as well. Claude Code even made it colorful. And then, this is what Quen Code came up with. Instead of making two separate interfaces, it went ahead and just created the main player of the music app. I think I should have given it a proper PRD, but nonetheless, this is also good. So I went ahead and tried to improve the app. 
telling them they needed to implement this flow I gave them. And this time, it was a detailed one. Again, I told both of them they could use the Context 7 MCP server whenever they felt stuck. However, I wasn't that happy with the results. This is what Claude made. It was much better before, but now it messed things up a little bit. You can see that the UI layout isn't implemented properly, and that's because these models haven't been trained on DAISY UI the same way they've been trained on, say, Shad CN components or really simple HTML. So it's understandable. On the other hand, QuenCode kept it the same and came up with this. So both were successful in following the layout, but they weren't successful in implementing it with DAISY UI as you can see for yourself. Now, now, I do know that Quen code is somewhat limited in its capabilities and features, and again, using Claude code is a far better option. But what if I told you that you could actually use the free requests Quen code provides with the agent in Claude code? For the free options available, one thing they've mentioned is that we can use Quen OAuth, which gives you 2,000 requests per day with no token limits. But there are also regional free tiers. If you're in mainland China, the company Modelscope offers 2,000 free API calls per day. Internationally, Open Router provides up to 1,000 free API calls per day. You can see that the Quen 3 coder model is listed here as free, giving you 1,000 API requests per day. Now there's this tool called Claude Code Router, and it's really amazing. It basically allows you to use any provider you want with Claude Code via API. So Claude Code isn't only limited to Claude's models, you can choose any provider you want. As far as the provider list goes, there are many options. You can see Open Router is here. You also can use the DeepSeq API key, your local Llama models, Gemini, and many more. It's a great tool, and it's really easy to install and set up. First, make sure Claude Code is installed. Then copy this command and install Claude Code Router. I'll leave the link to this repo in the description so you don't have to worry about that. After that, you'll need this file right here. Just copy it, head to your terminal, and open it by typing cursor. This will open it up in cursor. I've already filled mine out and added my API key, but this is essentially what you need to do. If this feels a little complicated, they've provided another great option. You can use the UI mode for configuration. If I paste this command, it opens an amazing amazing UI panel where I can add a provider directly. No need to deal with the JSON file. I recommend choosing a template first. Once you do, just add a model. To add a model, go to Open Router, copy the model name, and paste it here. Add the model, and you'll see it appear in the list. That's it. After that, just go to your terminal and type CCR code. It will start running, and as you can see, I've tested it, and it's now replying using the Quen code model, giving me around 1,000 requests per day for free. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.